Looks like I got my silver back. Pulled that right out of the mud. A couple scrapes right next to that bullet. You can see all the other junk in here. Oh, that's a pretty mark. That's in the sun. not sure if I'll ever figure out why this stuff collects together but when I get into a couple scrapes and there definitely is some stuff in there like bolts and brass pieces and whatever just metal you can see them all this stuff in here that's not everywhere I'll just all of a sudden get into a clump of it and start picking through it I don't have my metal detector I'm just eyeballing this stuff and so far I did pull out a wee penny a bullet I thought it might have been a silver fork, but it might be silver plated. Yeah, a piece of metal. I like keeping these. And that is a black oxidized nickel. So without even looking at the date, I know it's a war nickel because it's all silver. And it says 19... Oh, I might be wrong. Could that be 75? That is 75, and I would have sworn that is 100% silver. Nope, it's a 19... Yeah, 1975. Stand corrected. Found this one deep in the black mud. I'm gonna say from here it's just a flat quarter because it's kind of on the browner side, but it was so deep. I'm gonna videotape it anyway. I flipped it back in there when I saw it in my clump. Oh, wait a second. That very well could be a standing Liberty quarter. It is. There he is standing there. It browned out, it didn't black out on me. Look at that bad boy. Oh, yes. Standing Liberty Quarter. They didn't make these for many years, and the date is really hard to pull off. It's usually right down by his feet. I'm going to rinse that bad boy off and see if I can see the date. Sweet. Standing Liberty Quarter. I'll clean it up and give you a better look at it. You can't make this stuff up. Someone said in my last couple of posts, or I think it was even an email, that they wanted to give up detecting because I find stuff without a detector. Look at this. Just sitting on top. Wow. Looks like I got a new watch. Michael Kors. I wish I knew what that meant because I'm not a watch guy. That sure looks like a pretty watch. Holy macaroni. Stainless steel on the back. With some bling on the front. Oh, well. Sweet. That was not with my detector. It was sitting right there. Bam. Yeah, right after a storm, sun comes out, people race off the beach, and they leave a lot of stuff behind. It's a nice, fresh set of cutting pliers. Brand new.
All right, it appears we have what may be a button. And buttons are always cool to check out. You can see we have a little bolt here. It's a wash area, all the stones are settling in here. There probably should be more stuff here, so I'm gonna scrape around. There's a bolt here too. So let's see what this button is. It looks brass, could be old. Oh, got some writing on it. Oh, look at that. I believe that says wild. Can I even say that on video? ASS. Well, that gives you a little idea how old this thing is because I doubt they would print anything like that on a button. That's hysterical. The wild ASS. Well, that's something to look up when I get home. Sweet. It's an interesting piece I just plucked out of there. Again, you can see where the, the runoff is. I thought we were potentially on a button run, but I don't really know what this is. I thought it was a button at first or a snap, but I'm not really sure. I was hoping for some writing in the back, but I can't pick anything out right now. Hmm. Big question mark.